Sharing your legs media. You know what to do. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks. We got lots of stuff coming up. What's up? What's going on? How you doing? It is Louis Say with your legs media. Thank you for once again press and play. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And 2024 is going to be epic. And all I'm saying is that if you are here now, you do not want to miss what's coming in 2024. I will be in Europe. I'll be speaking to lots of different cyclists. I'll be at lots of different races. And I'll be just bringing you different stuff. So I'm telling you, you want to subscribe to the channel and not miss out on what's about to come. So with saying that, I'm, um, I guess once again, I'm going to say um, thank you for tuning in and I'm glad that you're here with me. And just to let you know who I am a little bit about me, I'm just going to give you my, just going to go to commercial break really quickly. Say it with your legs, media. What, what, what is that all about? Here we go. The name holds a story a message of inspiration and empowerment. As a child, I constantly faced the need to prove myself. No matter which sport I pursued, but then I discovered cycling. It became my answer to skeptics who doubted my abilities. More than just freedom, cycling became my pursuit of justice in the face of those who wished me to fail. So when you encounter seemingly insurmountable obstacles, remember, just say it with your legs. With every paddle, you can conquer anything, one step at a time. And that's why you need to buy this brand. To embrace the journey, empower yourself, and achieve greatness. And there it is. That's what's up, and that's who we are, and that's what, that's what we are about. Our long-term goal is to open up our International Youth Cycling Academy and to uh, help more kids in the Caribbean and uh, Africa as well and other countries that don't have uh, access to opportunity and resources because cycling is not a cheap sport. It's ridiculously expensive. It's ridiculously overpriced. And it's also a market that, it, that actually forces people to uh, buy certain equipment and go a certain di direction. Like, I still ride rim brakes. I think rim brakes are perfectly fine, but um, the industry is pushing everybody towards uh, disc brakes. And, and now, gravel bikes is the must have bike. You must have a gravel bike. But anyway, I digress. Let's get into today's topic. That's uh, Van Hoydonk. Van Hoydonk. Let's see what's going on with Van Hoydonk. Uh, Van Hoydonk is like, maybe I trained too hard. Let's turn it down a little bit more. It says, maybe I trained too hard. And he's still baffled by his heart conditioner. condition. It says, retired Belgian racer searches for reason behind his heart condition that uh, sparked car crash. And uh, Van Hoydonk, who uh, raced for Jumbo Visma, um, it looks like he's just recently retired because he was just recently racing. So Van, Nathan Van Hoydonk, has said he remains uncertain as to what lies beyond the heart condition that led to his losing consciousness while driving his car earlier this autumn. The 28 year old was at the wheel of his car driving his pregnant wife to the gynecologist, uh, yeah, gynecologist in northern Belgium when the accident happened. Various vehicles were involved, and while nobody was seriously injured, the Yamo Visma rider was rushed to the hospital almost initial, almost initial fears for his life. These are uh, those uh, fears have thankfully rapidly dis uh, dissipated, but the Belgian was placed in an induced coma for several hours, and he later learned his career as a cyclist was over. So this just recently happened. That's uh, sad to hear. Sorry about to hear that, uh, Van Hoydonk. I wouldn't want that to happen to anybody. Van Hoydonk uh, remained very thankful that he was lucky enough that both a police station was in the vicinity of the accident and. Uh, as well as a various, a various off-duty health workers, meaning help was quickly at hand for all. But the Tour de France racer still remains uncertain why he has an enlarged heart ventricle, as doctors disclosed, discovered after the accident, which caused the Belgian and team, <coughs> which caused the Belgian team workers' heart rate to fail. Albert briefly, at such a critical moment, 
Speaking to Dutch team news outlet Nars van Hooydan explained that as a result of the enlarged ventricle, a cardiac arrhythm has developed. When I had a checkup by the team in December, there was nothing wrong. They, they cannot explain how it, ha it could have uh, developed in eight months. Van Hooydan asked uh, re re rhetorically if maybe I trained too hard. I've, I've always asked a lot of myself, but I don't think that I. But I don't think this is the reason. Look at the other potential causes. Van Hooydan reflected that after COVID-19 already in already intense race uh, finals began earlier than previously also that we sometimes race in very difficult weather conditions uh, 40 degrees celsius and we keep riding on that's not healthy these may be potential factors but the real explanation has yet to emerge and it is worth uh, investigating thoroughly Van horidan said i would like to know especially for my teammates and other people who participate in the top sports concerning heart failure they the doctors know it can happen if you do this that or that he added but as for what caused it it's uh, currently a mystery the body has uh, been fitted with an uh, internal defibrillator and icd um to correct potential future cardiac arrhythmia arrhythmia and while no longer able to race he has accepted that for safety reasons there is no other option if something happens to me in the peloton at a hectic moment and I fall, it's a, it's it is a, it is immediately a dangerous situation for riders around me. He told me. so he's he's saying that if he continues riding and something happens, like you know maybe his heart gets all together or something, you know he could potentially take out other people. So that's what he's talking about. While the subsequent while the subsequent birth of his child, Alicia has helped him and his family resettle into a very different lifestyle following his enforced retirement Van Hoyden added that he is very lucky the crash happened in a place where it did all the people who had to be there to keep me alive were there one went uh, to get an AED that checks the heart arrhythmia someone else carried out the uh, chest compressions and someone else provided mouth to mouth resuscitation he said if one of those three health workers had taken the day off that day things could have uh, turned out very differently so yeah so i i didn't know that um i guess i haven't been keeping up on what's been going on so much stuff going on around in the jumbo vismas that you know this story got lost or just uh you know got lost in the paperwork under my desk so I, I and i missed this story so that's an unfortunate uh happening basically and just uh yeah he's a young man he's 28 years old 28 years old and he's got to retire but luck, the good thing and the lucky thing is that he raced for a team that is uh pretty financially sound so we I, I, I'm, I'm gonna follow up on this and hopefully just to find out just to make sure but i'm pretty sure he doesn't have too much to worry about and i'm pretty sure he's going to be able to find a career in cycling like helping young people or in the industry even if you opened up a bike shop or something whereas it's a it's a whole lot less uh, strenuous but i'm pretty sure he is going to be okay because jumbo visma look after the riders so anyway that's been uh the story on van hoyodon van hoyodon and uh yep we out i appreciate you check out the merch on the side you see the merch too check it out check out the merch check out the, it's over there check it out hit the scan the you know after you like and subscribe scan the barcode check the merch out the bomber jacket the bomber jacket that's dope these hats are dope as well too but i'm i'm not sure if i want to put it this in the center or leave it to the right let me know what you think you think uh it's okay right there or it should be anyway i should have um let me see if i real quickly it's mirrored already so it should be reading okay now it's reading correctly because i had it the wrong way okay so now it's now it's mirrored but when i when you do that then if i point i'm pointing the wrong way <laughs> anyway let me get off of this and that's the story of van hoy donk uh he rides for yumbo visma which is no longer yumbo visma it's going to be lisa bike visma or something like that lisa yeah lisa bike lease bike 
yeah anyway i'll get the names because every year the names change so i had to, it took a like a month to get used to the new names from last year so i gotta get on it early this year so i'm, I'm up to speed anyway we are out thanks for joining us remember hit the like button subscribe to the channel and we will see you on the next one Like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up.